Hello YouTube and welcome to this session of Primavera training. In this video, uh, we will talk about uh, project crashing and optimization in Primavera and in particular how to add resources to critical activities and assign over time to fast track the project. Back to our uh, Primavera file. As you can see, the baseline is not aligned with some activities because of delays and uh, the negative values we have um, for uh, variances uh, are indicators of uh, deviations or slippage from project plan. We need to select some activities and add overtime or resources to them in order to fast track uh, the project and bring it back to the plan. There are some important uh, points to consider in selection of activities uh, number one they should not be finished uh, they should be in progress or uh, not started yet number two they should be critical activities adding resources to non-critical activities will not change the duration of the project and number three they should have uh, preferably long duration so we can uh, experience and witness a significant effect in um, project duration. So let's browse down and um, see what's happening in the GAN chart. We can see the resources for each uh, activity as well so it is very helpful uh, in this uh, phase of project crashing. So let's browse down and uh, we should find some critical activities with long durations and there you go we have two not very long so let's browse down further and we have this activity landscape and irrigation with uh, a long duration the resources are shown in here and we have a landscaping uh, subcontractor so the first thing uh, that we should do in the activities tab it's very important to change the duration type of this activity to fixed units per time by default primavera selects fixed duration and units per time for each newly created activity and that's fine but in crashing phase we need to change it so fixed units per time is selected and as you can see landscaping subcontractor is the resource we can uh, select resource page on the left hand side menu landscaping uh, subcontractor is in here we need to check this overtime allowed box and select an overtime factor for it so at the moment I've set it to 1.5 which allows 50% uh, overtime on top of normal uh, time for this project let's check units and prices and the maximum units per time is 24 hours per day if you look at default units uh, per time it is 8 hours per day and uh, it shows we have three landscaping subcontractors working simultaneously on this uh, project so we have allowed overtime to landscaping uh, subcontractor let's uh, go back to activities and in the resource tab uh, we can see another resource uh, project managers we can adopt a hybrid approach and add overtime to some resources and additional uh, resources to others uh, to fast track the project at the moment um, we need to add another column so customize resource columns in here and what we want to add is uh, budgeted units per time so let's search for that and there you go it is in here I can add it by uh, selecting the right hand arrow 
and press OK. So now it is in here. As you can see for the project manager, we only have uh, three hours per day. We can increase it to eight hours per day. And before pressing enter, have a look on the finish date of the activity. Currently it is 24th of May. We changed uh, three hours per day to eight hours per day and press enter. As you can see, the duration has now been decreased. So uh, this is the way to fast track activities, critical activities of any project. I have a suggestion in order to see the effect of this deal reduction on uh, the total or whole project duration. We need to have proper relationships between the activities. If reduction of time uh, for this particular activity is not reflected in reduction of the project duration, it might be because we are missing some uh, relationship and connections between activities. It's a very good practice that have milestones for different um, uh, phases of the project uh, and link those mil uh, milestones to uh, uh, another milestone for the whole project. So finish of every phase is linked to finish of the whole project and we can see reduction of um, activity duration and their effect on project duration so this is the best approach for uh, project crashing you can also open the wbs tab uh, of the project and have an overview of different phases of the project as you can see now building one is controlling the whole duration of the activity so maybe in the next step uh, we can select one critical activity from that phase and reduce the uh, duration in order to uh, crash uh, the whole uh, project. So that's all uh, we talked about adding resources to critical activities and assigning over time for uh, project crashing. Thanks for watching this video. Please like this and uh, subscribe to my youtube video channel for updated uh, videos on engineering and project management